Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy and today I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with the channels. Now, for the last few days I've been doing some work with Dr. Lee McIntyre, who is a philosopher of science that attended the 2018 Flat Earth International Convention in order to gather more information about the conspiracy theories and science denial groups that he's been studying for several decades. And he wrote a very interesting book called Talking to a Science Denier. Now I put a link to his video in the description, but he wrote this book to talk about the common characteristics of science deniers and how to deal with them when you're debating them or having a conversation with a family member that's falling into this science denial conspiracy rabbit hole. And I found it very interesting. And he talked about two different techniques to rebut these arguments. The first one is called topic rebuttal. And that's where you actually treat this as a knowledge deficit on the part of the person that's expressing these conspiratorial thoughts and try and give them the correct information. Now, a rational person, when presented with correcting information that is verifiable, would probably reconsider their position. However, you don't see this a lot in the science denial community. And by science denial community, I mean flat earthers, anti-vaxxers, uh, climate change deniers, COVID deniers. These are people that have already heard these arguments before and didn't find them compelling. So the technique that he recommends with them is something called technique rebuttal. Because he found that there were five characteristics common to all science-denying conspiracies. The first one is, in order to give their conspiracy an air of scientific validity, what they tend to do is cherry-pick scientific citations to make it appear as though there are actually scientists that agree with them. That kind of gives it a cloak of credibility, as Mark Sargent used to say. The second is belief in conspiracy theories. You rarely will find a conspiratorial thinker that only believes in one conspiracy theory. They generally come in packs. The third one is the promotion of fake experts at the expense of actual experts in the topic. Fourth is illogical thinking, and fifth is unrealistic expectations from science. For example, uh, unless a vaccine is 100% safe and effective, we shouldn't vaccinate. Well, no medication is 100% safe and effective. If a vaccine reduces your chance of contracting a disease by 95% compared to an unvaccinated person, it makes a lot of sense to get vaccinated. Now, recently I had a birthday and the people that support this channel uh, donated some money to get something for me, and that is a Fuller calculator. Now let's talk about what a Fuller calculator is. Now, as you know, I've been doing a lot of work with slide rules recently. This is a little pocket slide rule that I use that's about five inches long. And the standard slide rule is about 10 inches long. Now, the length of the slide rule is the determining factor for its accuracy. So, for example, the 5 inch is nice for a quick uh, calculation here and there. Now, the 10 inch has enough accuracy to do about three significant digits, and we calculated orbits on the Apollo program with slide rules. Now, when you want a little bit more accuracy, what you need is a longer slide rule. So, this is an Aristo Studio 1068 20-inch slide rule. And it's something that I use on the channel quite a bit because it's pretty easy to see. To get some real accuracy, you need something that's got a longer scale to it. And recently, I was able to locate something that I've been looking for for a little while called a Fuller Calculator. Now, the supporters of the channel, the people that are my Patreons, the members of the channel, and the folks that just toss in an occasional PayPal to help me get equipment for the channel, actually bought this for my birthday this month. And this is called a Fuller Calculator. And if you see it right here, this is it right here. Now, what this is, is a cylindrical slide rule. And the scale is on this cylinder right here, which rotates. This scale is 50 feet long. So you can get five significant digits all day long on a Fuller calculator. And this is where my friends in the Flat Earth community kind of came through for me. I located this at a shop in the United Kingdom. 
and I got it for a decent price. They're not cheap, but I could have gotten hurt a lot more. So I bought it. The problem with it is, is they would not ship it internationally to me here in Michigan. So I got to thinking, well, I know some people in Scotland, and maybe I can ship it to them, and they can ship it to me. So I got a hold of a couple of my fellow creators that are in the United Kingdom, and Fight the Flat Earth, Craig, came through for me. He said, sure, ship it to my house, and I'll forward it on to you. And thanks to his efforts, the Fuller Calculator arrived today. Um, and I really appreciate the help of my fellows in the community. I really wanted to extend my appreciation to Fight the Flat Earth because he's been dealing with some things at home and still took the time to help me out with my Fuller Calculator. So we'll have some episodes on that in the near future. And we'll also have some on the E6B flight computer, distance and time calculations, their fuel consumptions, etc. And it's one of the reasons pilots always have these cool watches. This, is, this bezel is actually a functional E6B slide rule. So that's what's coming up in the channel. Now, if you want to take a moment to subscribe to Bob the Science Guy, make sure you also subscribe to Research Flat Moon because that's where I'm doing my new videos. And if you want to support the channel, please consider becoming a Patreon or a channel member or just tossing in a one-time PayPal to go towards equipment for the channel. So this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Thank you all very much for your support. Stay well, and I'll see you soon.